These photos are a documentary of the backpacking trip I took with Charlottesville backpackers and campfires up to Pete's Cave in Clifton Forge, Virginia in the George Washington National Forest. This was a glorious trip because we had been stuck for several months in our homes due to COVID and our first time really able to be able to get back out on the trail and doing some camping. And of course, we followed all the rules for social distancing and keeping each other safe. Vinny and I had planned a trip to Mexico City and several backpacking trips, all of which one by one had to get canceled due to COVID. So I was definitely excited to get out on the trail and be able to enjoy some nature. The hike in was short, about three miles and a thousand feet of elevation gain along a wonderful ridge line that was beautiful with blooming rhododendrons and let in late May. Although a short climb up the ridge, we decided to camp at this campsite that had stupendous views and set up camp quickly to enjoy some time together in the sunshine and the cool late May afternoon. This was my first time backpacking without Vinny since he needed to stay home for some home projects but it was great to be able to go with another group and I made some new friendships that I'm sure I will continue back to packing with in the future. But Vinny was definitely glad that I was still able to maintain cell reception so I could keep in touch throughout the weekend. After some time of relaxing, some of us decided to go explore a little further down the trail, which was a short walk to what's known as Pete's Cave, which has incredible rock formations that are fun to be able to climb and explore. On top of the rock wall is a beautiful west facing vista, which is great to be able to climb up onto to watch the sunsets, which we did later that evening. After some time exploring, we went back to base camp and cooked dinner and waited for the sun to begin to set. Then we went back out to Pete's cave and watched a beautiful sunset and the sky changing to an abundance of different colors. After the sun went down, we headed back to camp, told campfire stories, and of course, built a campfire before crawling into our tents and going to bed. The next day we woke to sunshine, had breakfast, broke down camp, and then started heading back to our cars. It was a great overnight trip to start off the season of backpacking.